Welcome back everyone, Garland here bringing you another Never Winter video and today we're going to be talking about the Uprising Lancer pack. Now depending on when you're watching this video, this pack was released on October 4th of 2019, uh, about a week after the launch of Mod 17 on console. Now as far as I know, this appears to be an Xbox exclusive, I don't think there's any packs uh, currently on PC or PS4, so this is only on the Xbox currently. Now that could change, they might release something down the road with PS4. I'm assuming they have to negotiate something between Sony, uh, you know, to get a pack on PS4. So let's take a look at this, let's explore it, and let's talk about it. So this is the Uprising Lancer pack. Uh, it's going to be $10. You can't buy this with Zen, you have to buy this with actual USD currency or the equivalent of your country. So it is $9.99 and it is going to include 200 Zen, 25 Preservation Wards, a Lancer title, and then three Legendary Insignia Choice Packs. So let's go ahead and break this down and is it actually worth $10? So right off the top, we get 200 Zen. So 200 Zen, of course, is going to equate to $2. You get 25 Preservation Wards. 10 Preservation Wards is 100 Zen, which equals $1. So $2.50 worth of Preservation Wards. So now we're up to $4.50. Now the title itself, we always know, has real no monetary value. Uh, but for you know, purposes of the video, let's just say the title's worth 50 cents. So now we have $5. So now that leaves us with the three legendary insignias, and you as a person have to decide if three legendary insignias are going to be worth another $5. Now for me personally, uh, I'm trying to be unbiased here. However, you know, I think this is actually a good deal. Uh, a lot of people are going to be screaming uh, pay to win and boohoo and blah, blah, blah. But you know what? It is what it is. Uh, a lot of people struggle uh, with legendary insignias. And for $10, you have the opportunity to snatch up three. So this pack can be purchased once per account. The title is reclaimable once per character. The Zen, the title, and preservation wards are bound to account but the legendary insignias are unbound. So let's go ahead and hop in game. We're gonna buy this and explore it in game. And momentarily, we are just right here in the Xbox store and you can see that it is $9.99. So you wanna navigate over to the Xbox store, uh, search for Neverwinter or search for Lancer Pack or you know, search for whatever you need to search for. It will come up, it is live. Uh, and then you'll be able to purchase this. Like I said, you have to actually pay monetary value. Uh, you can't just pay Zen. So uh, go ahead and pick this up if you guys so choose. All right, guys. And here we are in Protector's Enclave. We're at the Reclaim Agent where you can go ahead and claim your pack. So let's go over here and check this out. Should be under the Promo tab. And here it is. The Uprising Lancer pack. So we have one available. Let's go ahead and click on this. It looks like you get the title instantly. It didn't even go to my inventory. You don't get a scroll. So the title unlocked instantly. And then it appears that we have 25 preservation wards that are account bound. And then we do have the legendary insignia choice pack and these are unbound. So whether or not you need these legendary insignias yourself for your characters or if you want to simply go ahead and just sell these on the auction house so let's go ahead and open this and uh, see what we got going on in here so it looks like we have all the barbed insignias the dominance being the most sought after we have all the crescents we have the enlightened the illuminated the regal Again, the regal dominance being very sought after. So, yes, uh, you know, there's the illuminated dominance. They, these are all the insignias except the Zen Market exclusive ones. 
So there's no fortitude in here. There's no brutality in here. You know, brutality is another sought after legendary insignia. So legendary insignias, of course, are a bottleneck for most people. To get all legendary insignias is not a very easy task to do. The bottleneck being, of course, that, you know, you need eight green insignias to make one legendary. Um, so, yeah, these are not very easy to get, guys, especially if you're just a casual player. Uh, and, you know, there's, what, 15 slots here? Five times, what, three? Five times, yeah, three. So... I'm not telling you to abuse the system, however, I can already see ways to exploit this. Um, you know, if you have five accounts, uh, five gamer tags on Xbox, and you bought, you know, five of these packs for $50, uh, each pack gives you three, five packs, that's 15 legendary insignias. Uh, of course, that's against the terms of service, you know, I don't encourage that, I'm just saying, you know, theoretically, people could exploit this if they were willing to pay. So, you know, $50, $50 to get 15 legendary insignias to gear out a character, uh, that doesn't sound like a bad idea considering, you know, Cryptic sells uh, Delver packs for $200 or uh, the newest Fallen uh, pack, Fallen Apprentice pack in the Zen market, you know, is $100. So where are you getting more value for your money here? Are you going to break the rules? Or are you going to bend the rules a little bit? Spend $50 and get, you know, 15 legendary insignias? Or are you going to spend $100 and get a fancy butterfly mount that you can dance? Uh, you know, if you haven't seen my video guide on the Fallen Apprentice pack or know what I'm talking about, you can navigate to my channel and go through and find that video. But that's what I mean. Where Where is your money, your hard-earned money, uh, going to be spent? Now, like I said, of course, this is breaking the TOS. You know, I'm not encouraging that. I'm just having a discussion with you guys. This is all hypothetical. I'm just telling you, you know, how I see it. Uh, $50 for 15 uh, legendary insignias definitely seems a lot better than, like I said, spending $100 for a mount skin. So, do I think this pack is worth it? Like I said, my unbiased opinion, I mean, yeah, absolutely. $10 for three insignias that even if you're a veteran player and you don't need these, you can give them away to your friends. Um, you can sell them on the auction house. I'm sure that the prices are going to collapse uh, to a degree. Um, you know, yeah, they're down to 650 k for one of these packs already. I believe on day one, they were selling for a little less than a million. The more and more people buy these, you know, the market is going to react to that. Um, I don't know how long this pack is going to be available. It did not say on the website. However, it is, you know, launching with Mod 17 on the console. So I know it's probably not going to be in there forever. But knowing Cryptic's track record, this pack could simply remain in the xbox store uh indefinitely so do i encourage anyone to buy this uh that's up to the individual player whether you're a veteran player and you still need all of your legendary insignias um or if you're a casual player and you're struggling to even get to this point in the game it's ten dollars i mean you could go to a fast food place and spend more money uh eating dinner than what you're going to pay on this pack uh, do I think the pack is worth its value? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, the legendary insignias, like I said, are pretty uh, hard to get even still to this day. There's not a very high influx of green insignias coming onto the market. So $10 is $10. You as an individual player are going to have to make that choice. Remember, guys, this is currently only on Xbox. So I'm sorry PC players, I'm sorry PS4 players, if uh, Perfect World decides to release something on your platforms, that is up to them. So it is what it is guys, that's all I got to say. If you enjoyed the video, I appreciate it. Go ahead and leave me a comment below, tell me if you're going to buy this, you know, tell me your feelings on this. Uh, and we'll see you guys in the next video.